Hi, this is Mr. Ford, and I'm going to show you how to discover the amount of RAM memory on your Windows XP, either home or professional computer. The first method I'm going to show you is the preferred method. It's a shortcut. It's an easy way to get there. What you want to do is there's two keys you're going to have to push. The first key is the Windows key. It's on the bottom of the keyboard. It's got a little Windows icon, like the Microsoft Windows icon. And at the top right-hand side of the keyboard, you should see a pause break button. What you want to do is you want to hit the Windows key and then the pause break button. And you will see the system properties window pop up. Now this is telling me a lot of things. The fact that I'm running Windows XP Professional, that I have Service Pack 2 installed, that it's a gateway, that I'm using a cheaper processor, how much processing power I have, as well as the amount of RAM I have. Now, incidentally, I have 2 gigs of RAM in here. So, why am I not showing a full 2 gigs? Well, for a couple of reasons. One, I might not actually be getting a full 2 gigs. And two, if I'm using a computer with a cheaper video card that actually shares system RAM, the RAM will not look as big or as much as it should. Incidentally, you also notice other things such as hardware issues, computer name, automatic update, system restore, all this stuff. This is important information for a computer tech, but we're just concerned about the amount of RAM on this particular computer. So we're going to cancel out of this. The second way you can get to this information is by going to your taskbar, your start, click on start, go to control panel, click on that. Now real quick, if your control panel doesn't look like this, if it looks, let's say, like this, you have the nice user-friendly control panel window that comes with Windows XP. You want to switch to classic view. So we switch it to classic view. We go to System, double-click on System, and we have the same window. So that's the second way you can get there. The third way you can get that information is by going to Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and System Information. This is not the preferred way to find out this information, but it is another way to get you know how much RAM you have. So we wait and we wait. That's because of the whole Celeron processor thing. Actually, no, I'm lying. What it is is uh, I'm recording this as I work on it. And what we can see here is we can see the OS name, the version, who made it, my system name, manufacturer, etc., etc. And down here, available virtual memory, total virtual memory, available physical memory. This is giving me more information. This total physical memory is the actual memory I have in the computer. So that is the three ways you can access information. So again, the easiest way I find is the Windows pause break button. Boom, there it is.